What's up, people? It's your boy Leveled Head back with another video. The weekend is over. The games have been played and settled. Now we know who we're playing in the last two games to get into the Super Bowl. The Ravens, the Patriots, the 49ers, and the Falcons. Can't wait till next Sunday. But anyway, let's jump into this video. This is going to be, I'm going to try to make this quick, but if it's not quick, so be it. Uh, and I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm going to try not to repeat myself. One of my subscribers told me to stop repeating myself. <laughs> and I take that advice, that criticism. Anyway, healthy. It's healthy criticism, and I, I noticed it myself. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to re be responding to Zaire 720, Next Gen 720, and his response video to Jedi Knight NY. Now, let me set up the situation. Jedi Knight, casual gamer, made a video talking about how he feel that it's time for the argument of the Wii U being subpar or barely on par or just on par with the uh, with seven to eight year old uh, hardware, meaning the Xbox 360 and the PS3, and how the ports do not give a clear, conclusive or any clear and conclusive evidence that the Wii U is not uh, next gen because the ports are only not even utilizing the GP GPU aspects of the Wii U and Zaire came back with a video to counter that with the article that he received from Black Bun stating that at lunch the Xbox 360 all the ports are many of the ports from the PS2 and the Xbox were running on a single thread of the Xbox 360 but despite that the uh, games or the ports look better on the Xbox 360 and because of that the argument from Jedi Knight or casual gamer is debunked so I'm going to respond to Zaire's video because I don't feel like he fully grasped what uh, Jedi was trying to say but before I go into that I want to show I want to set what my argument up and I'm going to switch over to my uh, Wii U input. Now this is a uh, ESPN, but I'll come back to that because I, I record that every day when I come home from work. I would I watch it, so it's going to pop up here. And uh, I want to show this, and then the other two articles I'm going to show them. But I'm going to I'm just going to uh, pretty much paraphrase what they said. But I'm going to read these two verbatim. Now. I originally saw this on Hard 8's, a video Hard 8 did about a month or two months back, uh, or right after the launch of the Wii U. And uh, it was sometime in November, I would say. Uh, but he did a video, and many others did a video, and they used this article to uh, argue their point. So I'm going to use it, and I'm not going to show the, uh, you see that now, if I was to tap that, that's the Xbox and then this is the Xbox 360 and they used that and they talked about it but I don't want to use the picture I want to read what the man who made this article said now I'm gonna blow this up so you can clearly see it and I want to read this let's make it quick it says Madden 06 for the Xbox 360 isn't just a port of the original Xbox version EA has rebuilt the game from the ground up and has put a lot of work key put a lot of work into making Madden 06 graphics worthy of the Xbox 360 P platform the game features improved player models and animations and even more realistic stadium environments the game shines in HD resolutions but the graphical improvements still come through at 480p resolution now, this is the game that most of them wanted to argue showed that the Wii, that the uh, Xbox 360 was clearly next gen over the Xbox and PS2 uh, uh, version. But clearly this is not a port. Now, many folks will say, well, Zombie U from Ubisoft was made from the ground up and it doesn't show uh, that the Wii U is better than the Xbox 360 and I'm gonna show you why but I want you to remember that right there EA put a lot of work into making Madden 06 graphics worthy of the Xbox 360 remember that 
Now I'm going to jump down and I'm going to read you this. This was an actual report at that time. Same article. It says, if you already have the PS2 and Xbox version of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Let me scoot over. American Wasteland. Do not bother getting uh, the Xbox 360 version. Let me stroll back. The game looks and plays exactly like the original version released on older platforms. Except the 360 version forces you into a ride screen mode. Now that was an actual port. And there's other uh, uh, articles or I guess uh, games that the dude wrote and, and gave a description on as far as the comparison from the Xbox and the PS2 to the Xbox 360. You can read those yourself. And I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Now, back to Zaire and his, and his, and, and, and his uh, response video. What um, Jedi Knight was saying is the developers are not trying to showcase the Wii U's capabilities. Now you saw up there, and I'm finna change this over to another article. You saw up there how EA said they were putting a lot of work into showcasing the graphical capabilities of the 360 at at that time. Excuse me, in 05, with the uh, to showcase the graphical capabilities of the 360 in 05 with Madden 06. That was their focus. But let's look at and, uh, and most folks always use that and say it showed that the Xbox 360 was next gen, but some of you being built from the ground up doesn't. But let me explain to you why. Let's look at this. It says Ubisoft keeps Wii U support high and costs low due to more ports, less original titles. Now, what it means when it says support high, meaning they're putting a lot of games on it. Majority of those games are ports. And uh, and they're keeping the cost of making those port ports low, so they're not spending a lot of money nor a lot of time on the ports. And then the second part reason they're not putting a lot of uh, cost into it, less original titles. Now, when you look at this article, I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to read. I'm just going to paraphrase what it says. It was talking about how, uh, and I'm going to go back to ESPN. And uh, I'll just talk from here on. It was talking about how the uh, Ubisoft, when they made uh, Zombie U, they did not put the same attention that into Zombie U and the same budget into Zombie U that they would put in a normal AAA title, such as Assassin's Creed 3, you know, Far Cry 3, uh, Ghost Recon, you know, they big budget titles. Zombie U was not that um, was not that type of a game. It was that was not the purpose of Zombie U. The purpose of Zombie U was to showcase and utilize the controller, the game pad. So when you look at a game like Zombie U and you see that the graphics does not clearly prove that Wii U is better than the 360 and the PS3. It's not because it's not better. It's because Ubisoft focus and aim was not that. It was just to utilize the controller. Now, you have another article by uh, Team Ninja on uh, Wii U Daily. And I'm going to put it up to make this video short. And I'm going to uh, try to end this real quick. That says, matter of fact, you know what? I, mean, I am going to show it. I'm going to show it. That way you know I'm not making stuff up. Now you see me switching back to my Wii U. And I'm going to show it real quick. What they say is impossible. Now let me show this. And we're going to uh, talk from here on. This is from. Let me stroll out. Make y'all y'all Team Ninja. This is on uh, MyNintendoNews.com. I, I go there a lot. Team Ninja insists the Wii U is a next gen console. Now let's drop down. And I want to point out this one part right here. And let's zoom in. I want to get to this part. This is what they said. To be completely blunt and honest, 
there is no way that the Wii U processor is horrible and slow compared to other platforms. I think that com I think that comment was just for a trying to find a scapegoat for a simple business decision on their part. They said there's no way, no way that the uh, processor in the Wii U is weaker than the uh, 360 and the PS3. Now here's my point to Zaire. Clearly EA with Madden 06 was trying to showcase the Xbox 360's capability from a graphical visual standpoint. It clearly said animations and models look better. That was their focus, that was their aim with that game. From the ground up they were trying to show the power of that system in 2005. Ubisoft clearly said that they were not trying to. That they did not put a big budget behind Zombie U on the level of an Assassin's Creed or a Far Cry or Ghost Recon. So when you look at the Zombie U and none of the games, the ports, the the ports nor the games from ground up show that the Wii U is next gen compared to the games that are on the Xbox 360 and PS3 at this time. But understand that does not prove that the Wii U is not next gen. It just means the capabilities of the Wii U have not been shown yet. So it's most, mostly the developers and their unwillingness to put a full fledged effort into the Wii U. I just clearly showed you that. The whole single thread in the Xbox 360, that argument proves my point. You basically said the exact same thing that uh, Jedi Knight said, but you took it a step farther to, to say that the ports look better on the 360. Clearly, that wasn't the case for all ports to the 360. And it is clearly the case with the ports from the Xbox 360, PS3 to the Wii U. It's clear that these developers are not putting a lot of money into these games. It's clear that Ubisoft didn't put a lot of money into the Wii U far as the ports and its original titles. That's why I think they put uh, Rayman, or, uh, Rayman's Legends back to put more time and effort into utilizing and pushing the system even better you know 60 frames per second second utilizing the GP GPU I think uh, Raymond is going to show a little bit of that but you gotta wait son you gonna have to wait your argument it has no bearing until E3 get here until Nintendo shows their first party lineup and their new engine from retro and EAD and the folks that make games over there until that happens or until a third party really puts money behind developing a Wii U game, your argument has no bearing. That's my whole point. EA put time and effort trying to showcase the 360 capabilities at launch. And many other games did, it, did as well. That clearly showed that the 360 was better than the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. But that is not the case with the Wii U. None of these developers are trying to push the Wii U. That was Jet Jedi's or casual gamers argument. Your argument did not do anything but prove him right. So in my close, respond to me if you want to. Hear my points. If I'm off, correct me. I'm up. I'm, I'm all game. I'm all ears. And I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting to hear what you say. If you hit me and what you say is right and clearly disprove what I'm saying, I give you your ups. But I don't see how you're going to disprove what I'm saying because there's too much evidence out there to clarify or, or, or back up what I'm saying. I mean, not to, what to, it, it, it clarifies it, but it backs up what I'm saying. So to all my subscribers and everyone that's listening on, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And like I said, this is no diss, this is no disrespect being thrown. This is a clear debate, argument, point for point. And like I said, I look forward to your response, Zaire, Next Gen 720. Peace out.
Leveled Head signing out.